All right, welcome to the Dream Big series. And today I've got my buddy, Monty Clark. Oh my gosh, how long have we known each other? A long Too time. long. Yeah. We're off to a good start. <laughs> Hello, gorgeous. <laughs> Man, we had to. We we've known each other for a good. Uh, it's been at least twenty years. Yeah. Do you remember the day we met? Uh yeah, we met in the gym, didn't we? Actually, we didn't. No. No, no we met at an Olathe Chamber. I'm old, Chad. I'm my memory. <laughs> yeah, Where do we meet? It was the Olathe Chamber. And, oh yeah. And we met because I'm looking across the room and I'm like that. I'm talking about a guy that worked for you at the time. I'm like, that guy sure looks like a guitar player from this band I used to go see all the time. That's right, Conrad. Conrad, yeah. Then I look at his name tag, he's like, oh, no way. So I walk up to him, I'm like, so are you Conrad from Cinema? And it totally blew his mind that somebody in that setting would even know who he was. Yeah, no kidding. I do remember that. Yeah. So uh, that's a lot of fun. Um, Conrad's still, he's still playing, man. He's still doing the, doing his thing. Is he here in town? Yeah. Oh man, I should hook up with him and talk to him. It's been years. Yeah, good stuff. Yeah. Wow. So, uh, so we've been through a lot together <laughs> over the years, which we won't go into all that. But um, yeah. Nobody needs to hear that all that. But um, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> this is about them. There's not. About you know, us. honestly, that's what good friendship is about, right? I mean, that's what yeah. that's what relationships are for. You know, you go through the ups, you go through the downs, you um, experience life with each other, and there's nothing better than just having a solid, close friend by your side. Yeah, well, and that's that's definitely what you are, and one of the things I've been looking for in this interview is that you just, you've got this laugh that sometimes you get going, <laughs> and you can't quit, and your laugh alone causes everybody around you to laugh. <laughs> I appreciate that. Lots of other people are just annoys. <laughs> <laughs> well, they can they can listen to another podcast then. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> so definitely will not be for you. Yeah, no. Nope. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, if you're angry or sad or just hate life and don't want to be any better, then so let's, we'll recommend a few in the show notes that you can go listen to. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> There's plenty of them. Yeah. <laughs> so you've been in marketing as long as I've known you mm -hmm. and just got years and years of experience. And, and then we recently, you know, about six months ago, was that what it was at the uh, yeah. wall burgers? Um, you know, I was, I was sharing with you some areas that we were wanting to really develop and take our band and our music in. And, and I remember you saying, it's like, you have got to start working LinkedIn if that's what you want to do. And that was the day you, you know, you and I started working together on this stuff and I can't even explain all the good that has happened as a result of that day and just starting listening to you, you know, uh, about what to do, you know, with this. So, but the interesting thing is it's, it's your techniques don't, they're not just LinkedIn. A lot of them. I mean, some of them are LinkedIn, but the, the but the overall general ideas that you have go across the board on social media, man. And so, man, can you kind of share a little bit about that? Maybe, maybe even back up just a hair. What what made you start diving into that area from just this overall marketing umbrella? Yeah, sure. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, you know, just like what you said, I've been in marketing. 25 years. Um, I spent almost five years with a local company as a VP of marketing here. And then, and I've been in a, involved in a, in a number of companies and um, I set back out on my own, um, starting my own marketing company, but I wanted to do it differently than what I've ever done it before. And while I've been on social media, I hadn't really, you know, dug in and invested in social media. So um, one of the things that I do is search engine optimization it's one of the skill sets that I did uh, pretty predominantly um, with my marketing company. And so I got out on LinkedIn. I started uh, putting out posts, content 
um, specifically around search engine optimization. And within four weeks, I had people reaching out to me, um, just different ad agencies from around the country, asking if I'd white label my services under their brand. So I thought, boy, there's, you know, there's a lot more to LinkedIn and social strategy than what I have really invested in in the past. So I just poured in. I, I spent literally 12 to 13 hours a day on the platform for months. Um, really just trying to figure out, since I'm an SEO guy, I like to figure out algorithms. I like to figure out how the things work. I've, I talked to, I don't know how many different people, um, gained knowledge and information from everybody and what they were doing on LinkedIn. Wound up writing the book, Mastering LinkedIn, about my experience and what I feel like it takes to be successful. And, um, you know, what I found is um, ultimately throughout this entire journey is that um, social media is exactly that. It is social, right? And what you have to do is pour into that from a social uh, standpoint. You have to have a, pers a perspective of relationship. And how do I go about developing relationships? And it really doesn't matter the platform you're on. You can do that in a number of ways. But, um, you know, we typically call it social media. Um, but more specifically on LinkedIn, it would be more appropriately called um, social networking because um, there's no other platform uh, like LinkedIn, and I would say it's probably the most social of all the platforms, where you can actually establish and develop relationships um, on a daily basis. And it's those relationships then that open the door to opportunity, right? <clears throat> and as we give into those relationships, as we pour into those, um, if you have the right strategy, it doesn't matter who you are, it doesn't matter what you're doing, um, opportunity will present itself. So that's really my uh, whole methodology around the platform. Every single person is different. And that's my whole methodology around social media in general, right? Every person is different. You all, we all have our own things that we're trying to accomplish and things that we want to do. But if you apply the right strategies and you pour into people first, those opportunities are going to find you. Well, and man, I'll tell you what, you know, just a couple to gloss over a couple, just from a musician point of view, I have uh, a week ago, I tracked guitar for somebody in New York. Same week, I released a podcast with interviewing somebody from Los Angeles, you know, and um, it's just, it's, it's really, really, it's fascinating to me. I've never experienced that on, on anything else social media wise, you know, it's and nothing against them. I heard Facebook and, and Twitter and all those, they have their purposes, but I would never, I can't, can't really say that anything's gotten beneath the surface on any of those. No. Uh, and, and, and to your point, I mean, the, the specific social platforms all serve their each individual purpose. Right. And, and there's different strategies that are effective on each social platform. And the reason that's the case is because they each serve different markets, right? Uh, the demographics are different on the on those platforms. Um, the purpose for what you're trying to accomplish is different on those platforms. Per your point on LinkedIn, that's why I say it's truly the most social of all the platforms because that's your whole goal is to connect with people and establish relationships. Mm -hmm. And the more targeted you can be in the kind of relationships that you're looking to form, the quicker that those opportunities present themselves. So you're out there, you're connecting to musicians, you're talking to people in um, leadership positions and things that can affect your business in terms of public speaking, even setting up band gigs and stuff around the world. You're even connecting with people who you're now collaborating with um, creating music, right? Right, right. and so there is a would there be a natural tendency if you didn't know any better to say, okay, wow, Chad's making all these music con these connections. I'm going to do the same thing and then hop online and reach out to these people and say, Hey, I'd like, I'd like this. You just, I'd like to meet you and send you my music to listen to. Mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. What's wrong with that philosophy? <clears throat> um, the, what's wrong with that philosophy is nobody likes sales. Mm -hmm. So when you, um, you have to treat it like a live networking event, right? And maybe a lot of people haven't gone to a live networking event, event, but just imagine yourself, I, 
probably everybody that is going to be listening has had the experience of going to a um, used car dealership. <laughs> right. Right. You pull up on a used car dealership, you it's no sooner you get the door open and you've got somebody in your face saying, what do you want? What can I help you with? What to come take a look at this car. Come take a look at that car. Right. Yeah. Nobody likes that. Um, you in, in the buying process, it's all emotional first. Right. So the first thing that you have to do is establish a relationship and people are going to get an immediate impression of you based on how you start the relationship. So if it is more about the person that you are engaging, then they're going to have a much better feeling for you. So then within time, it doesn't have to be a long time, but within a short amount of time that as, as you're pouring into that person, trying to understand who they are, what their interests are, what they want, um, then it's going to naturally transition into, well, tell me about yourself. Right. And so then you get your opportunity to talk. But if you're just right out of the gate, sell, 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 you're not going to make relationships. And I think, Everybody understands that, yet for some reason, when you hit social media platforms, it all goes out the window, right? Yeah. And we just think we immediately need to get to that sale or it's not going to happen. And it's just not the case. Right. And it, I mean, there might be a bit of self-sabotaging going on there too. You know, you don't, if you don't yeah. really believe it's an effective way, then you might be subconsciously trying to prove it wrong. I'm just spitballing on that. I mean, it's a possibility. Yeah. I, you know, I, Personally, I feel like there's so much spam and there's so much of people that are out there. Um, I think a lot of people that just don't take the time to invest and learn yeah. the strategies and the processes under which you go to um, develop relationships and to turn those into opportunities. Mm -hmm. They get spammed a lot, right? And so <clears throat> your natural tendency is just to kind of do the same thing. Right. You know, you're like, Oh, okay. This is how you work this platform. You just got to go out and got to ask people for business every day. Yeah. So in a sense you do, right. You can't, you know, you can't just be on the platform for nothing. Right. But there's a, there's a strategy and there's a process under which it's effective. And then there's one where it's not. Yeah. Which is way more than we could ever get into on this podcast. Right. It, it is. <laughs> 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 so, what are what are some of the cool stories uh, that you've heard since you you know went down this path and just been helping people? What's some of the cool stuff that's come back to you that, as a result of this? You know, um, honestly, my joy um, in working with people on this platform is just exactly what you've experienced. Um, I love working with people, sharing my. Uh, my own personal story, sharing my own personal journey with people, give, you know, explaining and, and teaching, if you would, um, how you can do this effectively and how it can create opportunities for you. And then watching those opportunities unfold and uh, just the, the lights go on, you know, mm -hmm. of, wow, this is, this is actually pretty cool. This yeah. is how this works. I had no idea that you could do this on LinkedIn because you know, so many people's impressions are LinkedIn as it's a job seekers, you know, platform. Right. <clears throat> LinkedIn itself, you know, does their advertising is all about getting a job. Right. Mm -hmm. and, and I would say, you know, they're, they're, that's still probably the primary driver of LinkedIn. But if you're on LinkedIn for any sort of time, you're going to see that um, there's a lot of really quality people and there's a, high value content on there. If you're looking in the right places, there's also a lot of junk, but that's all that's social media in general. Right. Right. And there's ways that you can affect what you're seeing. So, um, <clears throat> excuse me, but you know, I would say that, um, just watching people have the opportunity unfold, watching people start new relationships mm -hmm. all over the world, you know, when I can have a client out of South Africa and then I can have a relationship with a guy in Brussels and I can have another one that's halfway around the world and then have my friend that's no more than a mile and a half away from me 
and I can interact with all of you all at the same time, all in one day. That is amazing. Yeah. I mean, that is absolutely just amazing. And in fact, you know, you think about this time in history that we're in right now mm -hmm. with COVID and everybody having to stay in their homes and everything else. Um, that's difficult for a lot of people. I know it is for me. I'm social. I'd like to be out, right? But um, you think any other time in the world that something like this would happen, it'd really be devastating for a lot of people. But um, because of social media, and, and again, I still think LinkedIn is the most social because every single day I'm talking to tens to hundreds of people. And, um, and that's just a cool thing. You know, it's, it's great that people can get on, their, on the platform, share with one another, talk about struggles, talk, be transparent, um, but also engage each other in business which ultimately is what we're there for, right? Yeah, for sure. So you, you kind of went there right ahead of me, which is good. I, but I was getting, let's take this, this COVID thing just a bit further. Yeah. If you've never really done this, you know, and now that we, and, and, but now you're faced with this time, at least for however much longer we're stuck at home, what, what would you advise somebody that's like, okay, I want to, I want to start learning this and taking advantage of this. You know, how do, what do, what do they do? Where do they start? Uh, you start with engagement for one. Mm -hmm. um, first, get on the platform and um, interact with people. There's a number of ways in which you can interact with people. Um, and before you start posting content, I always recommend to people just go look at other people's content. Find out who you're interested in. Find out, you know, within your target market, what interests you, who is posting content, who is active on the platform, get engaged with them. Start commenting on their stuff, right? In so doing, you're actually creating content. Don't just go out there and put nice post, you know, thanks for the share. Uh, engage have yeah. a conversation uh, treat it like it is a live networking event okay and the more that you can treat it like a night live networking event the more people that you engage so you can post comments when you post comments really ask questions get involved in a conversation that would be step one mm -hmm. step two um, seek people out who are active and who know the platform ask questions don't um, don't just assume that you know how all this stuff works just because it's social media and you've done really well on Facebook or you've got 10,000 followers on Instagram. Um, go ask people. There's so much information. Um, I, you know, on a daily basis, I'm posting content that should be helpful for people in not only using LinkedIn, but how you can use it for business, right? There's courses available. Um, I have one, but we didn't, and get on here to pitch that but um you know there's there's so many different even linkedin itself has an entire learning platform that you can learn just about anything and everything you can think of from a business pr perspective from a software perspective there's just so much information that's available so if you're sitting at home and you have nothing to do but watch netflix cancel your subscription get a subscription onto LinkedIn, get a premium account, go, go invest into some learning modules, um, make yourself better, you know, cause make the time useful, right? And because it's not gonna last forever, uh, business may change. And I think a lot of people are finding out that LinkedIn is gonna be one of those primary areas that is gonna be fantastic down the road. Yeah, for sure. Um... And I, I, I appreciate, you know, your, your heart and not pitching your program. So I'm going to do it. Um, <laughs> uh, Cause you know, we, you started helping me before you had even launched the masterclass and mm -hmm. I learned a ton from that, but then I went through the masterclass and I was like, wow. I mean, I, you know, I thought I'd learned a lot before that. And so you know, I just, I can't even say enough about what that did for me and what I'm, you know, and now I'm connected with some other people that are going through your class and just, I'm just hearing these stuff. You're, you may not even be hearing all this, but people are talking about it and benefits of it. And, 
and uh, it's it's well worth it. Plus, you're doing a basically a massive COVID special, aren't you? What was that? I am. You know, um, I decided when all of this stuff came around, you know, what do I do to help people? You know, when 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 the economy is down and when things are going like this, one of the things that happens that tend trend upward a little bit is marketing. So. I'm, I've been fine and been able to maintain what I'm doing, but I know a lot of people are just struggling right now. So I thought, okay, well, what can I do to help people out, maximize that potential that they would have here that they may not have ever had before. And so people are at home and I take 25 years of marketing and sales, marketing and sales experience I take countless hours that I've poured into LinkedIn and written that book in, and I condense it all into this six week program. And by the time you're done with the program, you're going to know 99% more, uh, more about LinkedIn than 99% more people on the platform. Is that, would you agree with that? Do you feel yeah. like you've learned that amount? Oh yeah. So, um, you know, I have, I wanted as many people, uh, to be able to take that course as possible. So I'm almost giving it away for free for $500. Yeah. So if people want to take that course, you know, message me on LinkedIn. I'm, I'm starting them weekly and uh, happy to put you in it. Yeah. And I appreciate the pitch. Yeah, man. And we'll, uh, we'll have all those links to make it easy for people in the show notes too. So yeah, man, I appreciate you doing this money. Uh, I've got one, one more question for you, buddy. Sweet. This will be fun. <laughs> if, you could, <laughs> if you could give 16 year old Monty some advice from your, you know, today, you know, who you are today, everything you've been through, everything you've learned, what would you tell 16 year old Monty? Failure's okay. Yeah. Uh, you learn everything through failure and you know what else is okay time mm. you don't have to accomplish everything all in one shot you don't have to uh, live and die by your next failure just keep moving forward and um, mindset is everything so if you can maintain that mindset that um, that you're going to succeed that People are there for you, not not against you. And, uh, you know, get the help. Get the help from the people that are willing to help you. Uh, don't be afraid of failure. In fact, uh, jump into it. Don't worry about it. Good way to end that, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, dude. Had fun, man. I appreciate hanging out with you as always. Yeah, man. Thank you. All right. Talk to you later.